Alright, what's going on guys? It's Rizzo893, and today I have a jailbreak video for you guys. This is the jailbreak for 3.1. This works for iPod Touches and iPhones. Now, it will not work on the iPod Touch 3G, so I don't really know how to do that, but this will not work for the iPod Touch 3G. So, I'm just telling you guys that right now. So, there's going to be a couple things you're going to need to download. The first one is called Ponage Tool. I'll zoom in for you guys. It will be right here. That is Ponage Tool. You're going to have to download that. I'll have a link in the description for you guys. Then you're going to have to download the firm, correct firmware you need. So I'll show you guys the tabs I have. So this is the web page where you're going to have to download the firmwares from. It's called FelixBruns.D firmware. So it has the firmwares for the iPods, the iPhone, iPod Touches. So I'm going to provide these links in the description video for you guys. Now what you're going to want to do so I'm doing iPhone 3GS 3.1. I'm gonna want to download that one right there. Now they have a lit. They have a bunch of firmwares for you guys. The 3G, iPod Touch first generation 2G. Now this iPod Touch 3G. I'm not sure if that works, but I don't think it works for you guys. So you have to find another video for that. So once you have your f correct firmware downloaded. You're going to want to go check out this dev team blog just to read through it a little bit. It just tells you more about everything. So, let's see. It has different instructions for each one. So, iPhone or iPod Touch 3G, as you guys can see, at this time, Ponage Tool does not support this device. So, that's why it won't work. Okay. And iPod Touch 2G. I'm going to read this for you guys because I read this a little bit through. Use Ponage tool to create a firmware image and restore that with that .ipsw using iTunes. This will only work if you are already pwned at 3.0 or 3.1. If you are 3.1, downgrade to 3.0 and use Red Snow to pwn 3.0. And then you have to upgrade the path using Ponage tool. So, I'm not completely sure how you downgrade. I believe BB's iPod Touch actually might have a video on that. I checked about it. I'm not sure, but... I'm sure you guys can find a video on downgrading. I'm going to try to make one if I can find one. So, just want to read that for you guys for a little bit. So that was all, just the dev team blog. You guys might just want to check that out, read it through a little bit. So now, once we're done with that, you're going to want to open up Ponage Tool. So there it is right there, little black icon with the pineapple on it. So I'm going to open up Ponage Tool. And has a copyright thing. <laughs> so it's going to give you a list of choices. You can use your iPhone, your iPod Touch 2G, or iPhone 3GS. Now, I don't know where the iPhone 3G is. It doesn't have an option for it. I'm not sure if it's supporting it or whatever. I'm, it might work on the 3G. It might work on the iPhone, either one of these two. I'm not really sure, guys. But I will be using the iPhone 3GS. This is the one I'll be using to jailbreak. So, I'm not completely sure how to do the iPhone 3G. If I find out more about it, I will put a, just a little thing in the description box telling you guys more about it. So, you're going to want to select the one you're using. I'm going to be using iPhone 3GS. Now, click here to continue. And it's going to search for the .ipsw file. Now, it found mine. Now, if it doesn't find yours and it doesn't show up, you're going to want to go into expert mode and browse for the IPSW. So... You can look for it and let's see if it does that. Mine's in my desktop. It's going to be right there. So I would open that up. And then it's going to have a list of these like setup kind of things. Now, if you are in expert mode because you had to actually go manually get the file, you're going to want to choose build right down here. And then you're going to click the arrow to continue. So save the custom.ipsw file. Save it to desktop. We're going to do that. And now it's going to be building the IPSW. So this could take a couple minutes, depending on how, how fast your computer is and everything. All ranges, so, yeah. So I'm going to wait for that to do that. If it takes too long, I'm just going to edit all this out, and then I'll just come back when it's done. So when you're done downloading the, I, um, the IPSW file, it should take you back around to this area. So the next thing you're going to want to do is go to DFU mode. Now, you're going to have to connect your device to the USB. Now, this actually wasn't working for me. I don't know if it's because I have an iPhone 3GS. But I've seen people with just regular, the first generation iPhones, it was working for them. 
So if it doesn't work for you guys, then I will show you guys how to enter DFU mode. If it does work for you guys, it should show you instructions on how to go into DFU mode. So I'm just going to actually exit this out just to show you guys. So make sure your, let's see, yeah, make sure your iPhone is turned off. So we're going to turn that off right now. And now it's really just like about two or three easy steps you have to do. So if anything messes up, you can just, during this, you can hold the, the home button and the power button for like 10 to 15 seconds and it will like completely reset everything. So now this is what you guys are going to do. You're going to want to hold the home and power button for 10 seconds. And then after that, you're going to release the home button, or the release the power button for 10 seconds. And then you're just going to hold the home button for 10 seconds. So I will show you guys and I will narrate while I'm doing it. So, hold the home and power for 10 seconds, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, release the power for 10 seconds, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and then you're done. So now your thing should be in DFU mode. As you guys can see up here, it says iTunes. Let me actually scroll in for you guys. iTunes has detected an iPhone is in recovery mode. You must restore this iPhone before it can be used with iTunes. So that is good right there. So press OK and then go hold. Since we're doing this on a Mac, you're going to want to hold options and then click restore. Now it should bring up your kind of finder menu and you're going to want to find the custom restore that you have. So mine is up there, the custom restore, the file it built when you were in the Ponage tool. So you're going to want to select that, press open, and then it's going to be extracting the software and your iPhone should be jailbroken by the time it is done restoring. So I will actually put up a quick thing when this is done restoring just to show you guys that my iPhone did get jailbroken. So thanks.